Hi, this is Josh Clark with this week's episode of Be Your Best. Today I want to talk about guarding your focus. You know, we live in a world full of constant distractions, and as a result, we often find ourselves living distracted lives, which severely limits our ability to focus, to create, and to accomplish. And yet, in the midst of all these distractions, we still only have 24 hours in a day. So if we want to be our best, we want to live successful lives full of impact, if we want to use the unique gifts, talents, and abilities that God has given us to be a catalyst to make this world a better place, then we must learn how to guard our focus. And today I want to talk about guarding your focus in the context of what if I gave you a, a briefcase full of a million dollars and asked you to guard it? How would you guard that? Would you keep your focus on it? You know, I want to re remind us of the 80-20 rule that says that 80% of your results will come from 20% of your actions. And so how do we focus on that 20 so that we can live more productive, successful, impactful lives? And so I want to share with you seven tips to guarding your focus. Number one, start your day with a healthy morning routine. Take five minutes, at least five minutes, to prioritize your day to look at the, what are the things that you must get done that day in order to have a productive day. Some people do that the night before, but at least start your day with it. And then number two, block out time on your calendar, on your schedule, in order to focus on the most important things. You know, it may be a relationship, it may be a task, it may be, but guard that time when you block it out, guard it more than you would, better than you would a briefcase with a million dollars. And take the hardest, most challenging task and do it right away. Block it in your schedule first thing. And then number three, check email just a couple times a day. You know, oftentimes we're distracted, and rather than taking intentional time and focusing on emails at a couple, maybe twice a day, we're distracted throughout the day. And then number four is social media. You know, too often this thing is in front of our eyes constantly. We're being distracted. And uh, so limit that, if you can, to twice a day. And then number five, turn off notifications um, to everything you can on this phone. And that way it's not distracting you in the midst of a task, a meeting, when your focus should be on it. And then number six, this is one of the hardest for me, just say no. You know, and then limit the time in meetings, phone calls uh, uh, with, with people. Because oftentimes for me, it's hard for me to say no or limit the time because I think that quantity shows somebody that I care. That means quality, not necessarily. Quantity doesn't necessarily equal quality. And remember, you only have 24 hours in a day. So if you give too much time to this task or this person, then you're taking away from somebody else. And that's how I have to view it to help myself to keep everything in priority. That you can't rob Peter to pay Paul. Something has to give. And then number seven is back to the 80-20 rule. You know, discover what is that 20% that's yielding 80% of your results. And then delegate or ask other people for help so you can focus on what's bringing results. And then finally, I want to share with you Proverbs 4, 25 through 28 from King Solomon, which is the wisest and historically the wealthiest person to ever live. And he said, let your eyes look directly before you. You let your gaze be directly on the path in front of you and then ponder or consider the path of your feet and then all your ways will be short and then you'll be successful. He says, don't swerve to the right or swerve to the left. You know, turn your feet from evil. Stay on that path. And I think if you'll do that, you'll see you'll have a productive week. And so here's my challenge to you. Challenge is, number one, identify a task or relationship that you need to focus on and block out time on your schedule. Number two, spend five minutes writing down the priorities for your day, the must-dos. And then number three, identify the three common, most common distractions in your life and develop a plan for dealing with it. And now I want to ask you if this video has encouraged you. Please take a moment to share it with others, and together we can be a catalyst to change the world, one person at a time. Now go out there and make it an awesome week, and God bless.